never before have the major allies been more closely united, not only in their war aims, but also in their peace aims. From the earliest days of World War II, FDR envisioned creating an organization that would promote global cooperation and peace through collective security. On January 1, 1942, he invited representatives of 25 allied nations to Washington to sign a declaration pledging each to defend life, liberty, independence, and religious freedom, and to preserve human rights and justice. FDR called this wartime coalition the United Nations. Roosevelt imagined that after the war, this organization of nations would promote equality and mutual security. His vision combined elements of idealism and realism, but its backbone would be the four policemen, the United States, Great Britain, Soviet Union, and China, who would enforce the peace through a security council. FDR died days before he was to address the opening of the conference that created the United Nations. The new president, Harry S. Truman, ensured that the conference was held as planned and the creation of the United Nations organization was underway. This time we are not making the mistake of waiting until the end of the war to set up the machinery of peace. Eleanor Roosevelt was 60 years old when she left the White House in April 1945. In December 1945, President Harry Truman appointed her to America's first delegation to the United Nations. It was the first of many public challenges ER accepted over the next 17 years. All of us must keep on hoping and working for a change, constantly asking ourselves if we are doing all we can to make clear our desire to live in peace and friendship with all our neighbors in the world community.